Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. Um, before we start the vlog I thought I'll just make a note that this video isn't going to be a stationary haul like I said it would be. Um, I do have a few things I wanted to show you so I'll show you what I got from the Travelers Factory and also the notebook that I created. Um, I'll do a little sneak peek and then I can show you in detail all the products that I got once I have a tripod or somewhere that I can actually prop my camera up just so I'm not trying to hold the camera while showing you it's just a bit difficult uh, other than that enjoy the rest of the video I've been going to all the onsens today so my hair is a bit gross at the moment um, but I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs> so I got the travelers notebook I haven't opened it up yet um, but I'm so keen to see what's inside um, I think it comes with a bag the actual notebook and then I think it might also come with a strap I've also got these notebooks that came inside. So I've got two of the standard size and two of the passport size. They also gave me this piece of paper um, and I just put a lot of stamps all over it because I really wanted to use the stamps they had. So next I got the plain charm. I also got the clip. I got a postcard. Oops, it goes this way. Give me one sec beautiful postcard. Actually, is it a postcard? I think so. Um, this is a little letter. So on the back you can see it's a little envelope. And I got a beautiful washi tape. So when I get back home, or if I find a place to prop my camera up, I can show you what the tape looks like on the outside. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I haven't even opened it up yet myself. So I've got the gold binding, this clip at the front here, and then I can't, you can't really see what the page is, but those are dotted pages at the front. They've also got envelopes throughout. Then these ones are the gridded ones, and then I've got an envelope at the back. And then the back page is this yellow um, cardboard. It's so pretty, I really like it. I'm so happy with the design. <laughs> Hi guys, it's day four of my vlog. Um, we've just arrived at the most beautiful hotel. It's an onsen hotel and we have the coolest room. <laughs> Wait, let me just... The door magically opens by itself, just kidding. Oops, why isn't it focusing? So... It's a traditional. So you take your little shoes off here. Look how cute this is. There's our beds over there. We've got a little TV, a little fridge. What's through here? Toilet. We've got a Dan. Where's the light switch, Dan? This is so pretty. I don't know if you can see out there, but we're pretty much in the mountain sides of a beautiful river. And we've got onsens in our hotel, so I'm gonna go and sit in my bath. So apparently the restaurants don't open till around 7.30, so we're about an hour early. Um, and I also got told that I'm the only female staying in this hotel tonight. So what I thought I'll do is usually you can't film um, public onsens because obviously everyone's naked inside and if you took a camera and it would be very wrong. Um, but I thought since I'm the only one staying here who's female and going to the female onsen, I thought I might show you inside the hotel onsen here. Um, and I'll show you what a public onsen looks like. So I just had a bath in that one, so that's the bigger onsen, and they swapped it over to the male one because um, apparently there's more men staying tonight. So 
my one has now changed. I haven't seen inside this one yet, but apparently it's the smaller one. Let me just make sure there is no one inside. Oh, it's so cute. It's like my one that I just swam in, but bigger. All right, so, as always, you need to take your shoes off before going in. And then we've got the area where you can um, basically wash your face, take off your makeup, there's hair dryers. And then on this side, it's where you put all your clothes. Oh, I better take my socks off. Ah, falling. Okay. Oh, I don't know how my camera's gonna like this. But, basically it's also got some instructions. So just be wary of the heat. And then once you get inside, oh, this looks so cozy and nice. I'll have to have another one in the morning. So that's where you wash yourself. So it's got shampoos and soap washes, and it's also got foot section and also a shower bit. And then this is the beautiful onsen. Oh, this is so cute. That's where the water's coming out. Alright, so I thought I'd show you what it looks like in the morning because last night we couldn't see out the back window. I think I'm going to head out and do a few nature walks with Dan. It looks really chilly outside, so I might be able to find an outdoor onsen. Um, I thought that would be really nice to sit in a beautiful warm bath while it's chilly outside. And then tonight we're probably gonna go out for dinner. So I'll bring you guys along and see um, what we're up to for the day. So the host here just gave me a bear bell and a donut, which I'm so thankful for, because I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, and I had to Google what a bear bell was because I had no idea. And basically Google says bear bells are small metal bells like sleigh bells. Hikers tie single bear bells or clusters of bells to their boots, backpacks or walking sticks. The idea is that since bells don't sound like any natural forest noise, the bears almost always avoid people. The bear bells will keep bears away. So I was kind of excited to see a bear but I guess it would be scary to see one in the forest. Um, so I'm going to tie one of these onto my backpack and hopefully we won't have to encounter a bear today. Lucky I've got my bear bell on! <laughs> so behind the play set is a cemetery and this is the elementary school. It doesn't look like it's open. It kind of looks like it's an abandoned one. So this is the second onsen for the day, and there's no one in this one as well.
That's the end of the vlog today. I hope you enjoyed coming along as I showed you around the onsens. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.